Hello everybody and today we are going to talk about back button focus. For those of you who don't know what back button focus is, it's basically instead of half pressing the shutter button to trigger autofocus, instead you press an AF on button on the back of the camera. Now this also means unassigning autofocus start from the half press of the shutter button. So once you've done that, half pressing the shutter button will not initiate autofocus. The only way to initiate autofocus is to press the AF on button on the back of the camera. Now on some entry level bodies, there is no dedicated AF on button on the back of the camera, but you can still achieve back button focusing, but you assign the AF start feature to one of the zoom buttons on the back of the camera. So now that we've got the mechanics out of the way, why on earth would you want to use back button focus? If anything, unassigning the AF start feature from half pressing the shutter button actually sounds like it makes things even more inconvenient. So what you would usually do, half press the shutter button to focus and then fully press it down to take the picture. The idea of back button focusing is separating that two step function into two separate buttons. So one button is devoted to only one function. So the shutter release button does nothing else but release the shutter and the AF on button is just there for you to operate autofocus. So you do not have to share just one shutter button to perform two operations. Now my personal number one reason for using back button focus is the reassurance that the shutter will release as soon as I push that shutter release button down. Because when you have back button focus set up, when you push down that shutter button, the shutter will release regardless of whether or not that image is in focus. Now if you're not using back button focus, when you mash that shutter button down because you want a photo, the camera would sometimes refuse to take a photo until it has locked focus on your subject, which causes a delay. Sometimes it takes quite a while, and that sometimes causes you to miss a shot entirely. So for me personally, a shot that's somewhat out of focus or soft is still better than no shot at all. Now another reason why you may want to use back button focus is if you're not using back button focus, there's a lot of if nots in today's topic, if you're not using back button focus and you half press the shutter button and it starts autofocus, there's no way for you to take a photo without first refocusing it. In a sense, initiating AF is like a prerequisite to firing the shutter unless you switch your lens to manual focus. Now, for example, you have a camera on a locked off shot, your camera's on a tripod and you're shooting a stationary subject, you've already focused onto that subject and you've taken your first photo. Now, if you want to take a second photo, you press down the shutter button and it would refocus, which creates an opportunity for error. So if anything, you wouldn't want to refocus a shot that's the same setup. Another situation where you might find back button focus really helpful is if you're using continuous autofocus, say you have AI servo enabled, and you're continuously focusing on a subject. So you only start focus using the AF on button. So if there's anything crossing your frame that can potentially mess up your tracking focus, you can just let go of the AF on button, let the thing pass and continue your focusing. So it really allows you to take control of that continuous focus drive when you want it to run, when you want it to pause, when you want it to stop. Back button focus also allows you to focus and recompose in continuous AF modes without which would be practically impossible. You would have to change your AF point if you wish to frame up on your subject differently. With back button focus, you can simply get focus on your subject, let go of the focus button, recompose, and then press the shutter button to release the shutter without having to change your focus. So that's my take on back button focus. If you have any other reasons why you would want to use back button focus, or if you have any reasons why you really wouldn't want to use back button focus, let me know in the comments section as well. So that's pretty much it for today. Any questions, any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.